Cooper's crazy. Clear sell the air cleaner. I'm not going to clear. So let me explain something to y'all. Uh, um, how, how, how could I say that I'm never going outside no time soon and not sound crazy? Uh, I'm not going out there. Like, I'm just not going out there. Like, maybe because, um... I just see so many people that I personally know that are getting sick and not just sick and but I don't I'm already was a whole germaphobe to begin with now it's like maybe I'm, maybe if I go to my house but as long as I'm in New York City <laughs> no they don't want to see and don't be t yo you know what she be doing for some reason whenever she get my phone she always be calling like the people that i've been curving somehow some way she always manages to click on their missed call and call them back or facetime somebody that been curving or ducking like i don't know if she does it on purpose or like that's just god like i don't know but um yeah um I miss my music too. I'm trying to have a real conversation with my label so I could try to put my project out. But I don't know what's up with them. I really don't know what's up with them. And like I figured out a whole way so I could shoot a whole teen video. Like make it safe. Like people don't even come to my house. They know the vibes. Like family members and everything. They know, like that's not. We're not even gonna discuss when y'all see me. Did you do your brows? Yes, I did my brows. I did my brows. That's the only thing I do is my brows and put on some um some Vaseline. Well, actually, Aquaphor. I'll be using the baby stuff on my lips. Um, we jump. I got these little um things that I put under my eyes. They are called gold and snail. And it's made like with like snail mucus and put it under your eyes. Hold up, baby. Matt. Come here. Still wanna see you. Come here. Come here. I thought it's fine. Don't come, fine. We gotta wait till she come back. She acting like somebody. Pressing her like no one's pressed. She has to stop. Are you still on the whole health kick? Well, I've been eating a lot more vegan meals because Pap is vegan, and sometimes I be lazy and I don't be wanting to cook two separate meals or a pescatarian meal and then a vegan meal. So I be eating like a lot of vegan stuff, but. I got on a scale, that's so crazy you said that, I got on a scale yesterday, and I gained like six pounds, which in my opinion, six pounds in two months of being in the house and not really being um, active and not, you know, I don't feel like that's a lot, um, but I got this little um, workout thing that I ordered on one of them infomercials that come on at night, and it comes with all these like different, like, this is mad stuff that I come with, so I'm gonna try that. And then my friend Juju, she sent me something that she's been using. I think it, um, I think it comes next week. So I said next week. I'm, I'm gonna start next week when my um stuff from Juju get here. So yeah, that's that one. That I'm actually gonna um. I'm gonna take pictures before or after. I'm gonna wait for like a week and see if it's working. And then if it works, then I'll put y'all on. But if it don't work, I'm I'm not. Uh, my love. Kenzie, where are you? Come here. Come here. No? She said no. That's her version of no. 
Well, actually, her version of no is fast. She be like, no! Like, when she say no, like, your feelings be hurt. No! There you go. No! <laughs> no! No. 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 No! Okay. Am I interested in a virtual show? Um. Here's the thing with that, right? So... Um, every week I do, I still do State of the Culture, which I got a post. I keep saying I'm a post on my page. If y'all guys, if you guys haven't checked it out, we did a, a new episode of State of the Culture is up on YouTube and it comes on tonight on Revolt TV, but like we've been doing it every week. This week was especially good. We had, um, Senator Kam Kamala, um, Harris as, um, a guest. And very, very informative. I just think everybody should check it out. Um, as far as me doing one, I feel like I really have things to do. I be in the house all day, but I be I don't I don't see how I could like at a specific time every day. The only way that I do stay the culture is because I literally have the baby programmed. Yes, she's programmed to <laughs> take her nap at the exact time to when I have to record. Because if not, like, even me being on live, the reason why I'm able to do live right now is because I'm in her room, she sees me, like, she's close. Like, if I try to go in another room or try to get low and be quiet, like, she's not having it at all. She's not having it, I'm yeah. sorry. She will literally be banging on the door, like, getting crazy. So, yeah. Um, so that's like the only thing. And I be feeling like everybody's doing that. Like, um, my real goal in my life is to have a real talk show one day. Um, are you thinking school or private tutor for school when she's ready? <sighs> See, I was thinking school. So that she can interact with people and other children. Yes. Hey, 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 hey. Got your little drums going? Yeah, I was thinking regular school, but now with all it is going on, I'm like, ugh. You don't know what little cooties they, the kids is going to be bringing to school, and then she going to bring them home. Like, ugh. Yes, I'm a Gemini. Somebody asked me my Gemini. Yep. Sure is. How tall are you? I'm five, nine and a half. Um, what else? Oh. Don't lose no more. I guess I was supposed to be weight. I didn't lose weight. I just said I gained six pounds. Mommy, could you? Why would you? Why would you do that? Why? Why would you come? <laughs> Whoa, y'all. Am I the only one that thinks this fake food be looking mad real? Like. Why do they be looking mad real like that? Little pineapple rings. Are you looking at her little fake food? Her little carrots. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. All right. I say yummy, yummy. Somebody said, are you still breastfeeding? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I'm so ashamed. <sighs> Okay, so the goal was to stop. Hey, Carlos Greer, how are you doing? My page six, homie. Um, so the goal was to stop when she turned one. Like, literally, I had it all mapped out. Like, yes, I'm going to get my boobs back. They minds again. I could, like, incorporate them in my life again. Like, that was the goal. But when she turned one, she was not having it. So I was like slowly weaning her off. Like, all right, not so much. Which is definitely dramatic, dramatically um down. But ever since the quarantine, it's like she's super, no mommy, she's super duper attached now. And... I just want my boobs back to myself. 
and she knows she like it's not even like like and she has teeth and stuff so because people be like oh does she bite you like no i she i think she knows that if she is to bite me she's like super done but i can't she's i just i don't know i got this book this is how desperate i am where's that book at this is how desperate I am. i'm so desperate i bought a book Hoping that it would tell me how to get them off. And the book, it says naturally, she'll just, like, be like... Which is true, because naturally, even without me, like, trying to force her off, like, she... It's mostly when she wakes up in the morning and at night time when she's going to bed. Or, like, if she, um... Like, if she hurts herself or something, she'll, um... Girl, put that book back. She'll, um like cry for me or whatever but I, it's it's hard it's very very hard but super benefit she has not been sick I breastfeeding they five years old oh no 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 it's not no five she's not getting she's not getting past 18 months like I, I already put my foot down I said it in my head like I'm just gonna go cold turkey on her like like that's just that happening over here i had a clip in it i don't know the u.s is the only country in the world that doesn't support extended medicine. it's not that i don't support it's just like i just have things to do it's very time consuming it's a whole job it's a whole entire job you reading you books my son breastfed so he was three I try everything band aids on like I don't think I don't think it's that bad because it's definitely not her old, her whole her main sustenance. Like she eats regular food. She wakes up in the morning, and, you know, she does her um breakfast and she'll have like lunch. Like like I said, just mostly to me it just seems like a comfort thing. More more so. But um it's definitely a job. It's a job. I, to any woman that has actually done it, you y'all know it's a job. And she doesn't drink bottles. She hasn't had a bottle since she was probably what seven months. So me even trying to like I try to pump and put it in a cup, and she doesn't she doesn't want it. So I'm thinking like that's how I know it's definitely a comfort thing. Yes. You want to read your book? What do you want to read? Let's see. Cup. Cup. Book. 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 <laughs> Not breast milk on a rock. I stopped my son at 10 months and he's two years old. He still wants it. No. You seriously? It's that. You know, it's, it's more so you feel bad because when they be like, Mom. She be like to tell him, Mom, and pulling on my shirt. I be feeling so bad. Like, all right, come on. And I give in. That, um, oh, uh, yeah, God Papa's in here. Say hi. Say hi. No, he's not there. He's in the comments. Look, I said, God Papa, you already reached for the phone. He's not there. He's in the comments. Calm down. Somebody said put the baby on live. I'm like, hold on, let me show you what she's doing. Let me see. I don't know what she's talking about. She's just being on her own little... Nah, I just let her go. She wanna go off? Go off, sis. <laughs> but um So she's mean? No, she's not mean. Don't say that. She's actually a really happy baby. She's super happy. She's not mean at all. And she's really like if she knows you forget about it. She all over the place. She got she got a couple of favorites that she gravitates towards, but she's cool. The crazy thing, she's not addicted to like like you know how some babies like if you don't have they don't have a phone or iPad they're going crazy. She doesn't really care about it like that. It's just if 
when people call, when her godfather calls, or when her godmother calls, or when any of my relatives call, they call on FaceTime and they talk to her. So she, whenever she sees a FaceTime, she associates FaceTimes with calls that are for her. So even though this is a live, I don't think she has been able to um, differentiate the difference between a live and a FaceTime to her is just like a FaceTime. And then you know that she didn't see the little box in the bottom, so she's chilling right now. But she that that's pretty much most of what it is. As far as the phone, she don't care about it besides that. She's more into her books. Like over like right now, how she's over there eating the book. <laughs> yes, I see you. That's mommy's book. Give me. Give me. Thank you.